Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kurt, and welcome to Forza Motorsport 5. Of course, as played on the Xbox One, we're watching a magnificent intro cutscene here because I haven't I haven't touched the controller in a little bit and it's waiting for me to play the game, but Forza Motorsport 5 on the Xbox One, the first the first console game on my channel ever in the history of time. Well, technically some of the games we've played are also available on consoles, but this one is actually being recorded off of the Xbox One that I got a few weeks ago. Uh, during that promotion where you get a free game, I chose Forza Motorsport 5, obviously. And uh, here, here we go. Here we go. Like, I, I, it's a little bit crazy. A little bit crazy to be playing console games on my channel. Uh, Forza Motorsport 5, obviously right up my alley. Uh, pun, pun intended. Blah, blah, blah. Pun intended. And, uh, you know, very, very comparable. You could tell a lot of what Grid Autosport, not Motorsport, but what Grid Autosports uh, took a lot out of the books from Forza. I think Forza took the flashback thing from Grid or maybe another game. I'm not sure. Uh, so a lot of similarities here, and uh, we're actually we're actually already well into the game. I've decided that uh, for the first couple weeks before I got my recording set up here, that I would be uh, getting a little bit of a head start on playing Forza Motorsport 5. Uh, kind of an you know, I can see. It was kind of a, a, a difficult decision to make. It really wasn't. It took like two minutes to make the decision. Uh, but I, I decided I would just hook up my Xbox to my TV in the living room and play on that. Uh, get used to it, both the Xbox system and the Forza game. And then I would bring in the videos when I was a pretty high level. I think I'm level 30... level 31 or something like that. And uh, I think that's a good idea because I could see if I was doing a Let's Play from the beginning. I would probably have stopped playing by now, as as I think Beef, Finnish Beef, got up to level 35, and he kind of stopped his series. Uh, Forza Horizon came out, obviously, and uh, it, it it's at that point where I could see if I was recording videos. It's like, okay, it's the same tracks. I've I've unlocked all the tracks. Uh, there's only so many cars you can do, and uh, here, see, here are all my cars. Uh, this one was just gifted to me for some reason. Uh, I've got uh, this crazy thing, uh, BMW, the old Chevelle SS454. I have a model of this in my room, so of course when I was entering into the muscle car league, I had to purchase this car and get it painted the same as the model. Corvette. I, I opted to jump into the uh, V8 supercar series, so I got one of these monsters. These things are nuts. Now the Honda Prelude, I, I must explain. The only reason I got this car is because it was the first car I bought in Gran Turismo 1, which is pretty much the first racing game, proper racing game I ever... racing simulator, quote-unquote simulator. Uh, I'll be using the word simulator with very large quotes here in Forza as well. Uh, but in, in the first Gran Turismo, in the career mode, the Prelude was the first car I bought, so I'm like, I have to buy it here. Uh, this was one for... they gave it to me even though it's uh, September. They gave the, the... the... it was a free... free car. Of course, the first car I bought was the Subaru BRZ. The Subaru BRZ. The car that I was very frightened to learn at the auto show in Chicago this past year that is quite comfortable and I actually fit quite snugly, so... Shh! Don't tempt me, I don't need to buy a BRZ. I uh, bought a WRX, and uh, this was also gifted to me. Alright, so uh, I apparently have a career, a series going on as it is. Oh, I don't. Okay. Well, here's where I am with my series. Is, 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 is. I completed the top three there. I think I might have to purchase a car if I want to use, yeah, cars. Oh, garage cars eligible for this one. Hmm. Maybe we'll start. I, I could swear I was halfway through a season. Somewhere. No? Championship complete? Okay. I don't wanna... Completely... Oh, I have not purchased any of the the exotics. Those are expensive. Well, there a few of them are affordable. Uh, the class competition. Did I complete all these? Well, 
those. It's kind of weird. The thing about... I kind of... Well, maybe we'll talk about this, but I kind of wish that there were... Seasons. Like, you go through a series... Through a series of races, but there's no, like, points that accumulate over time, like... Like, as does happen in uh, the grid games. It's just kind of like, well, we're just racing from race to race. The previous one doesn't matter. How you finish doesn't matter, except, you know, whatever you whatever you uh, unlock uh, throughout throughout with your uh, your XP levels. So I, I kind of wish there were actual, like, points series. Or maybe I'm completely missing something. Uh, yeah, I did do the V8 supercar. Um... I apparently cannot afford any of these cars here. Let's, well, let's maybe, let's do something a little bit, uh... Here we come to the hot a little bit lighter here. And of course we have Jan McLaughlin and the team are. from Top Gear. That's, Back I think, the thing appeared, that Forza has was, that Grid doesn't, is the, the Top Gear folks. It didn't have to be a rusty, leaky old Triumph or MG. It could be practical, convenient, and still amusing enough to give you cramp in your smile muscles. The hatches here are some still of the be best amusing of the enough. Starting with the excellent Ford Focus ST, which gives a textbook demonstration of how a hot hatch can be sensible every day, yet still give you kicks when you drive it like your trousers are on fire. Then there's the VW Chiron. Hilarious R. metaphors to abound K from Jeremy Clarkson today. And with God, I wish they sold that in the US. That would be a car I'd be very interested in. So it's going in here. And if it's even half as likable as the Mark I Scirocco I owned many years ago, then you'll want to marry it. Alright, so my holiday Veloster is available, but I really don't want to use that. Thank you very much. Um, maybe I should buy a Sorako, Socorro, how do you say it? The, the VW? That's not a hatchback. That is clearly a coupe. Yeah, we're kind of going through... Oh, the C apostrophe D. That's the, the Top Gear car for a while. Ooh, a Mini would be interesting as well. Is the C apostrophe... Or the Socorro? Yeah, how much is this? 72 grand versus 50. I've got 582,000 credits, everybody. That uh, V8 supercar cost 700,000. <laughs> so I had a lot more at one point. Um, oh, this one is free DLC. So which, which, uh, which class are we supposed to be here, actually? D? C? Yeah, I'm kind of confused what, uh... That seems pretty good. Launch 7.8. So this is the sort of thing that, uh, the grid game doesn't have, is it just kind of gives you cars. You really have no way of specifically comparing the stats and whatnot. I think I'll, I'll, I'll buy the, uh, the Volkswagen Skr... I don't know how to say it. I should have listened to Jeremy Clarkson. Skorko? Skorko? Skaro? <laughs> this thing! It just looks quite cool. Quite cool indeed. Alright, and then uh, when you do purchase a vehicle, you get the choice of uh, selecting... Ooh, that's interesting. I like the matte paint jobs. Uh, you get a choice of selecting community-made paint jobs. And... There we go. Camo. Uh, or we can just go into the colors and uh, we can choose... Oh, that's a nice blue. That's also a nice blue. You can choose colors or special crazy, like the matte colors, like I was just saying, or these two-tone glossy thingamajigs, or it's like... This is, this is a pre-production model. Camouflage. All the way to your silvers. Uh, I'm probably just gonna choose a manufacturer color. I really like this bright blue. It's pretty cool. Yoink! Buy car? Oh yes! Buy with credits! Tokens are the in-game DLC, you know, pay money and you get in-game tokens is how that works. And here's our new vehicle. Hopefully it's not too terrible. 
at the race. Modern hot hatch front wheel drive. Continue. We are heading back to the streets of Le Mans, France. I should mention, I hope the audio... I did some tests. I did a lot of tests. Recording a console is difficult, but I hope the audio to my voice is okay, because I'm actually recording to one... I'm, I'm used to recording my mics and my, my in-game audio as separate tracks, but in this current situation might change. I'm actually recording them both to the same track, so hopefully we've got the volumes right. Uh, I hope all the, the video recording is going well in the background and stuff I can't really see. Uh, but already, ten minutes into the into the first video here and we're finally starting to play the Vigi game. I tried to not get too over-explanatory <laughs> as to where we were, but... Here we are. I'll, I'll let you know my, uh, my difficulties. I've been doing pretty good with expert level difficulty. In some situations, I'll go to pro. Like, uh, you know, there's uh, Spa, uh, this track Spa, Frankenchamps. I, uh, that, that is my track. I will switch to pro whenever we're on that track. And also there are some other sort of silly uh, game modes that I'll go to pro on. Uh, my assists I'm using. Uh, only uh, the line in the turns. ABS, normal steering. I tried the quote-unquote simulation steering and did not like it. I'm using the controller, obviously. <laughs> using the controller, obviously, the Xbox controller. Traction control only, automatic shifting, and full damage. So we get a 30% point boost at the end for that. And the starting grid. You may notice some familiar names in the starting grid. We're starting between Paws of Vintage Beef. Up there is also Corrales. These are the Drivatars. The Drivatars are supposedly, supposedly based upon, you know, like there is supposedly out there a Kurt J. Mack Drivatar that is based upon my own habits. I'm a little bit skeptical about that, to be completely honest. I'm a little bit skeptical about that because uh, oh, Corrales has the holiday paint job, so does Vintage Beef. <laughs> they, they just went with the free cars they were given. Uh, yeah, I'm a little bit... I, I almost feel like because they could have gotten away with it, perhaps it's just normal... Hey, Corrales! Perhaps it's just normal, you know, computer AI drivers that they just attach the handles to of different players. Because otherwise, I feel like half the field would be driving through the grass and taking illegal shortcuts, as I assume many people play the game like. Maybe, you know, at, at most I can see, like, lap times maybe they try to, to equalize. I mean, because look at, did, I don't know, I should ask Pause how much he actually played Forza 5. Because I don't know that he played enough where an entire Drivatar could have encapsulated his, his driving sensibilities if he only played for a few minutes. Uh, also, it's like, it takes the first three races, and then after the third race, they're like, Okay, we're uploading your Drivatar to the cloud. It will now represent you in races. I'm like, good lord, no! Not the first three races. I was absolutely terrible at the video game then. I'd rather it wait until I'm much, much better, and then upload my Drivatar. All right, what are we in here? We are in sixth. Whoops. All right. Uh, this this car needs uh, a pretty good case of some uh, tuning. That's one of the thing. It's kind of weird. It's a little bit uh, convoluted how you tune your car and upgrade your car, and it's kind of weird that you can't do it like before the race. Like you have to actually exit out and go back to your menu and go back to your garage and then. Purchase upgrades. I could see needing to change certain settings in between races based on the track you're on. Things like uh, gear ratios and tire pressures and whatnot, depending on the track. And it's not as it's not as fluidly built as that. It's certainly better than what we've experienced in Grid Autosport, with its very limited uh, customizable. Uh, settings. Well, I guess at least in the 
in the low level of gameplay I'm currently in. All right, coming through, coming through. St. Louis sidestep, St. Louis sidestep. Or not, or not. Maybe St. Louis, get out of my way, step. It's a little bit of a shock to go from playing this on a 46-inch screen in my living room to the small 24-inch screen monitor here in my computer room. I think I need to get another flat screen to put in here and then really justify over-exuberant spending upon electronics. It's for my work. It's totally justified. All right, let's see if we can take out this guy. Not take him out, I mean pass him in a sportsman-like fashion. I am a clean racer. What is up with his paint job? Hen Henny? Henny01? Papa Pig? Okie dokie? Alright, we got it. Got second place. It's kind of... I'm still not entirely positive as to the to the way the points and stuff work, but it... Like, first, second, and third are gold. Fourth, fifth, and sixth are bronze... or, uh, uh, silver. And then three, uh... Oh, oh, I could have maybe had him if I went through there a little bit better. So yeah, I think technically... Oh, it's three laps. Oh, God. We could get him. First place! First race, first place. Uh, I think, like, no matter what, if you're in the gold ranking, you get the same amount of points. They're, uh, you know, the marketing behind that was that, oh, it's less pressure to win every race, you can just do well or be consistent. Well, then what's, like, why am I pushing to get in first place? Do I get, do I get a little bit something extra for being first place as opposed to second place? They're both, they're both in the gold category. All right, all right, coming through. Pneumatic budge? Pneumatic budge. <laughs> it is a uh, air actuated badge. All right, this turn is kind of weird. You can swing out and then catch the apex of this turn much better and get him up, get a run on him, get a run on him. Yes, you and your Veloster. Uh, I sat in that car at the uh, auto show as well. Not a fan. It's very much an alien. Uh, Interior. Whoops, I just pressed a button on the controller. I did not mean to. Hopefully I didn't screw something up. Oh, God! That was a terrible turn. No penalties. However, no penalties are handed out in this Vigi game. You do bog down quite dramatically if you go into the grass too much. But you can cut corners for days and really have no ill effect. At least to the best of my knowledge. Good turn. Thanks, game. Thanks. I'm gonna take that and win with it. Woo! One of my complaints about this game is these these scenes right here, these cutscenes. They get boring by about the sixth race. And now I'm on, like, my 50th race, <laughs> seeing your car gently roll in with the slight damage it has received throughout the race and the, the very operatic music happening in the background. You can't skip these. There we go. I'm level 32. We're catching beef. Catching beef with the levels. Oh, is this my first uh, Volkswagen? I think so, I guess. I am... 405,000 in the laps here. Corrales apparently has played very well. Uh, he's, he's much higher in rankings. Wait, come back. All right, let us... I, I can challenge him. I'm not gonna do that. You basically challenge somebody in the, uh, the time trials 
And then you race until you can beat their best lap time. Uh, and, and it's best to do it without using any flashbacks. Because uh, once you use a flashback, it gives you that little, little triangle next to your time saying, Okay, this is a good lap time, but they use the flashback or they're racing in a field where they could draft or they cut a corner. Or maybe maybe it does that if you cut a corner, I'm not sure. Uh, so it's, it's kind of a, an asterisk next to your time, which you'll see a lot. Track days. See, here is... Prob well, I don't think there's drive guitar difficulty here, no. But yeah, this is this is like incredibly e easy. This game mode, you just have to. There's a bunch of slow cars. You just have to pass a certain amount of slow cars. Of course, I'm going to say that, and I'm going to fail. Fail the race here. Okay, so I have to. The gold target is 15 cars, and in two laps around this. Shorter uh, Silverstone circuit. I have to pass 15 cars. And they really just do their best to get in your way and ruin your day. Wow, this car's brakes. They do not exist. All right, flashback. Not a fan of the flashback system. As opposed to, say, the... The grid system, which allows you to continue at any point during the flashback. These are like just predetermined flashbacks that you have to wait for it to say, okay, now you can resume your flashback. And it's weird, some of them are like ridiculously short, others are really long. It doesn't, it, there's little consistency. Out of the way, jerk asses. Oh wow, I've got to do something about the brakes and the understeer on this car. Good gravy. I mean, I realize it's front wheel drive, but good gravy. Excuse me. All right, nine cars. We're already well past halfway. Although the next field of cars are very far away. Yoink! Yeah, these game modes I could kind of do without, to be honest. I mean, they're not as bad as having to trudge through the uh, the drift game modes in, in Grid, but uh, there's these and there's some. There's always strange events happening at the Top Gear test track. I would rather just drive, like try to get the best time around the, the Top Gear test track. But they have the, these other weird ones like bowling. Run over as many bowling pins around the Top Gear test track as you possibly can. We'll, we'll run into those eventually, I guess. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Whoa. What do we got? 15? Oh, yeah. We already hit the target. Whoa! Close call. <laughs> close call right there. Whoop! Out of the way, Jerkasco! And across the line! And, once again, you're gonna get bored of these scenes extremely quickly. <laughs> it's the same thing over and over and over again. Here's your car from three different angles. And some dramatic music. Oh, see, and I use a rewind so I lose 1% credit. That's a nice looking car. Dang you Germans not giving us your awesome cars! Although I'm sure it's probably got something to do with the import rules on, on our side than it is theirs. Or the fact that no European automaker really brings hot hatches over here because they don't sell. Just like the uh, the now Volvo C30 was a nice looking car, I thought. But they the discontinued shops. bringing it to the States because it wasn't selling as they had hoped. Got your, your car history going on there? Ooh, Spa! Alright, we totally got first place on the first race, so we're definitely going to up the Drivatar difficulty to Ac Pro? Expert Pro? I'm on Expert, I'm gonna pump it up to Pro because this is Spa. Uh, not as much of a guaranteed performance 
in these slower hatchbacks. Oh, and it's a signature event. Dang it, I wanted to do an actual race. I want to race. All right, this one is... What? What is this? Oh, this is against cars that are all the same. I think they're all the same, gonna be the same as my cars. Pro! I am pro! And for whatever reason, that has to restart when you change the Drivatar difficulty. Okay! Got it. Uh, who, who's in the starting grid? Same folks? Yeah, we're all driving VWs. VWs! Alright, here we go. We'll round off our first console video game episode on my channel with a pro level expert race at my favorite track. Vintage Beef is apparently a, a fan of the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> it just gives them a random paint job, I think, if they don't actually own the car. Take that, Beef! Take it! Oh yeah, I'm a little bit less confident about my abilities here with this car. One of the problems with Spa is they slow down a lot in this turn, and it really screws me up. Yep, yep, yep. Go! Oh, body damage. Rewind. You could have made it through there at that speed, my friend. Alright, let's try to avoid him. Let's power through. Speed power. Whoop. Got the corner, that's fine. Uh, uh, lose all our speed. Out of the way. Whew. All right. Uh, what are we up to? Ninth? Okay, so yeah, we're in bronze place. Uh, what's this guy gonna do? Uh, hi. All right, the glare. <laughs> There's another. I, I, I'm not. I, I have so many complaints. I'm just gonna get them out of the way. But yeah, the glare is a bit, while cinematic, a bit much. I think in real life that's why race car drivers have tinted uh, helmets. Uh, what are those things called? Helmet face guards. Oh god, I'm getting spun. Get spun. Whew. Jerk. Visors. Visor is the word I was looking for. St. Louis sidestep? Nope. Look at this guy with his giant wing. Got a wing. You're a real rear wheel drive car. You don't need rear downforce. Oh god, spinning out. Alright, you just power through this turn. Nope, not when somebody's trying to spin you out. Go oh god! Oops. Yeah, on the lower right, I suppose if you haven't discovered this yourself already, you can see my uh, inputs uh, of my gas and brake. The gas is kind of the light blue bar and the brake right next to it would be red. It is analog controls with the thumbsticks. Perfect draft. All right, this is a part they slow down as well. And they really don't need to. Although that was a terrible line. Yeah, see, that would have gotten me a penalty in another racing game, but here... Nope. Whoops, 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 turn. Oh, I totally overshot that breaking point. Alright, we've only got two laps. So we've got uh, this, this one lap to catch these two guys. I think I'll be able to catch them up... Uh, what is that turn called? A rouge or something like that. The this windy bit that goes uphill. It's got a name. All these famous racetracks, all the terms or turns, have have famous famous uh, names to them. Yeah, see they slow down way too much through that. In the F1 cars you can just go flat. Which is exciting. I'm gonna get ya! Gonna get you, gonna pass you up. I'm gonna hit my rev limiter. Oh, well, we're not. 
Oh god. Oh dear. Turn, turn, turn. Grip, grip, grip. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. While I'm really good at spa, there are some tracks in this game that are absolutely, uh... Really frustrating. The uh, Bathurst in Australia. Every time that comes up in the order of uh, races, I'm like, oh no, not this track again. That's just a disaster. Every single time, no matter what. It's a really skinny track with walls on either side. It's pretty much, it's the equivalent of uh, what Monaco was for us in uh, Formula One. It's just like, well, I'm going to get last place. I've already accepted my fate. Come on, lens flare! Alright. Wow, we are trouncing them. Perhaps I should have gone up to the most difficult. I haven't raced anything against that. Ugh. Oh god, I'm in the gravel. Oh, oh I gotta redo that. Yeah, I haven't I haven't raced what what's what's above pro? Impossible? Veteran or something? Uh Perhaps I should consider that in the future during spa. Spa day! <laughs> Alright, I think we could probably go flat through this second turn. It doesn't say we can, but if I get the line right... Nope, no we can't. Hold on. Yeah, I, I know I'm losing points by doing this, but... Tap the brake, and... That's the way you do it. You just gotta get the nose in! Get your nose right! Perfect turn! Good turn! That was a perfect turn! How dare you! Ooh, there's a helicopter. There's a couple helicopters. Yeehaw! <laughs> don't worry, I don't win every race. <laughs> it's quite, quite far from the truth. But awesome! I think this is gonna wrap up, like I said, the first episode here of Forza Motorsport 5. And we'll continue playing, we'll, we'll pass up level 35 where beef left off and uh, we'll, well this is you know this is basically the, the type of speed of kind of stock car not stock car but stock car that you would uh, start the game with so it's a nice slow beginning to the game but there are like I said the V8 supercars are pretty crazy uh, those rally uh, racers are pretty crazy as well and there we have it indeed so if we go back To the menu. Yellow, loading the menus. There we go. Beauteous. I have a Drivatar reward available. So when I'm away, if, if somebody races and my Drivatar appears in their race, I get the credits <laughs> for how it finished, I guess. So that's that's kind of crazy. But but yeah, here here it is. Forza Motorsport, I keep accidentally wanting to call it Horizon, but Forza Motorsport 5 on the Xbox One on Kurt J. Max channel. I want to, uh, before we end, thank my patrons at Patreon. Unlocking console gaming was one of the milestones for that, and due to that, you may have noticed that uh, all of the videos I upload to my channel recorded on a console are commercial free without any of those uh, pre-roll advertisings or anything because it is supported by my patrons at Patreon so thank you very much those folks and look forward to more Forza look forward to Forza Horizon 2 when that comes out uh, look forward to the eventual when I figure out how to record my PlayStation 2 the original old school oldish school games that we're gonna play with that and onwards and upwards and and indeeds and whatnot send etc my name is Kurt, thank you so much for watching, I will see you next time!